We're here at the site of the Woodstock Aqueduct Company's pump system, which is really where the water comes to see the entire water system that is used by the uh, village of Woodstock and the town of Woodstock. So we're about a mile and a half north of the village on Route 12. Um, so as you head towards Barnard, uh, you will see these solar trackers and uh, right on the left-hand side of the road as you're headed north. So there's 14 of these solar trackers and the, the panels, it's a 60 kilowatt system, but they generate about 80 to 90,000 kilowatts per year and that helps to power the pumps. And this is where the pump is located. There's two wells uh, that provide the basic water for the entire system and they're located in this valley, in this aquifer. So these solar panels, they tilt and they move with the sun. It's technology that was developed by All Earth Renewables up in Williston, Vermont. So it's great to work with the Vermont company. They were installed in 2012. The company, Woodstock Aqueduct Company, bought them in 2017. And they provide energy to pump the wells, which run pretty much all day at staggered intervals. So there's two wells. Well number one is in this brown building behind me. Uh, that was originally built in 1971, uh, and it's been going ever since. That well is only 66 feet deep, but it provides enough water when combined with the other well, which is across the street. It's over on off of Steinmetz Road. You can't see it from here, but that was installed in 1993. Uh, that pump is slated to be replaced as part of the overall capital plan to increase the amount of water available for the system. So the water is taken out of these wells here, it's then pumped into the system, and then it feeds the water tank, which we're gonna see in a little while, up on the Cox District Road, a 948,000 gallon storage tank. And it's the combination of the pumps and the pressure coming from here, and the gravity pressure coming from that tank on Cox District Road, which provides the water system with the pressure it needs. So these are part of the assets that are being transferred to the town from the Woodstock Aqueduct Company if the town votes for it. So it's this plot of land, the solar array, the pumps, the land over across the street, the pumps, all that stuff, and the water system, 17 miles of pipes that go along through the water mains, through the town and the village. That's what the water company is selling to the town. So we're on our way to the storage tank on Cox District Road, but along the way, we're passing the site of the temporary pipe. This is an insulated pipe that was put in place after the floods of 2023. So the water used to flow up, down through here, but underneath the Ottaquichi River, right underneath the Elm Street Bridge, it was blown out in Irene and blown out again in 2023 with those July floods. So as a temporary measure, uh, the aqueduct company, with the help of the National Guard, if you remember those photos, uh, put in this pipe to go across the bridge, across the sidewalk, and then hook onto the water system on the other side. Uh, so it's been here since, I don't know, September of 2023, uh, and it's part of the plan with the acquisition to replace this pipe and actually hang it underneath the Elm Street Bridge so not to go underneath the river again because that's blown out twice in the past 15 years. So that's what this is right here and that's what you see when you're driving through town. We're right up from the Iron Bridge on Elm Street and as you go out of town on Route 12, this is technically, I think, Old River Road. Um, but that's part of what the town will be buying is the obligation to fix this. We're still on our way to the Cox District storage tank where all the water is pumped from the wells on the east side of town. So this is the old water treatment facility. Uh, we're at the bottom of Barbary Hill, just off of Route 4. The senior center is down the street and the high school is across the street, across Route 4. This is where all the water used to come from the reservoirs to be treated before going into the system. But it still is where the pipes coming from the storage tank come and then they go across the street, across the athletic fields of the high school, across the river and then feed College Hill and Carlton Hill and also down to the Riverside Mobile Home Park. So there's quite a few people that are serviced by that line that goes across the river from here. 
Um, but this is also part of the land that will be acquired by the town if they decide to buy the Woodstock Aqueduct Company. So this is no longer in use as a treatment facility. It's not sufficient. And the water coming out of the wells that we visited earlier, that the water quality there is very good and only needs just a little chlorine to treat it. Uh, but so it's, it's not any longer in use, but it is where the confluence of all these pipes is right now. Okay, we're now on Cox District Road at the site of the water storage tank. This is a 948,000 gallon storage tank, 70 feet in diameter, 31 feet tall. And this is where water is pumped from the east side of town all the way to this side of town into this tank. The Woodstock Aqueduct Company monitors this on an hour or minute by minute basis to make sure the level of water is high enough to supply the water or to the town with enough water for both residential use and also for fire flow. So that's part of the reason why this tank is here is to provide all of that gravitational pressure through the system in order to service the town. So this, uh, the tank is filled from the wells and is constantly refilled uh, throughout the day and throughout the night in order to maintain that height. At peak season, the fluctuation in the tank is something that the wells then will refill. Um, so it's, it was built in 1988. It's essentially rebuilt in 2002. Uh, it's in excellent shape. It's inspected every five years. Um, and that's really what is storing the water that's used for the village and, most, uh, and a lot of parts of the town right here on Cox District Road. So this is the Cox Reservoir. It's just up the hill from the storage tank we were just at. And this is one of the retaining reservoirs to get water um, in a backup situation to provide water into the aqueduct system. It is not connected to the water system right now. It is really a backup water source. If it had to be used, there are pipes that connect this into the tank that could then supply water in an extreme fire flow condition, which means that basically the tank is empty. It hasn't happened uh, since the tank was constructed in 88. Um, is it possible that the whole village would burn and you need some of the water from the reservoir? Perhaps, but this is an important backup source of water in case anything happens to the aquifer. Um, so this is one of the two reservoirs that we're gonna be looking at here and one of the two that's in the system as part of the total Woodstock Aqueduct Company's water system. So it's a backup water supply. Across the street from here is parking uh, for the Woodstock Area Mountain Bike Association, uh, and that goes up into the Vondell property, and that's where we're gonna go next, is take a look at the Vondell Reservoir. So we're now at the Vondell Reservoir, and this is our final stop on the tour of the Woodstock Aqueduct Company. So the Vondell was built in 1962, or the Vondell Reservoir, in the section of the area that is called the Vondell area. Um, and there used to be a Class 4 road that went all the way up to North Bridgewater Road. There's one that goes by here and then comes out on Grassy Lane on the other side. That's still in use. Now, the purchase of the Woodstock Aqueduct Company by the town includes the rights to this body of water. The second transaction later on in December is about purchasing this property as well. But included in the first part is the rights to, to this water and all the easements that are necessary to maintain it as a backup water supply. Remember, this is not hooked up to the current water supply. It is a backup in case there's something wrong with the aquifer or there's a major fire flow event. So this body of water uh, is a beautiful body of water that the town has looked at and is considered a recreational asset. We're standing on a, a mountain bike trail right now, uh, so the many people from the area and also the Woodstock Area Mountain Bike Association use this. Uh, but it is, the Vondell is, uh, I'm not sure how many millions of gallons of water this is, but it is a strong backup supply for the Woodstock Aqueduct System. That concludes our tour. Remember, this is the highest point at which the water is taken from and feeding into the system, uh, but the pumps on the other end create that pressure uh, that complete the loop uh, for the Woodstock Aqueduct Company and have the pressure at the, at the residences and also the fire hydrants. So there's a, a question before the voters of the town of Woodstock, and that is, should the town purchase the Woodstock Aqueduct Company? Uh, and so we've been on a tour of the Woodstock Aqueduct Company today, and that vote is on October 29th. 
uh, and it's an in-person meeting, so it's uh, at the Woodstock Town Hall. A second vote is going to be in December, and that's whether or not to purchase this par particular uh, parcel of land, the Von Dell property, and also about the improvements that are needed for the system. So the first vote is only about buying the assets of the company, not including the Von Dell property. That's October 29th, and make sure you get to the town meeting uh, so you can participate in that vote.